We all know the city can be suffocating sometimes. Even on quiet days, it's still not the most serene for a lot of us. Also, routine can be very heavy on the mind and make the days drag into each other repetitively. A good time away is always a welcome idea. We are taking you to one of our favorite places, which is fortunately just outside the city. On the hills of a brie, overlooking lush green valleys. Just to breathe, rest, and reset. <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? Anyway, guys, welcome to another video. Um, oh. We're coming to you live from one of our favorite places, which is the tree house in Ebri. And my name is Kwame, and this is... Hi, my name is Elaine. Yeah, so we, we came here for the long weekend. Um, we just thought that we would just come and chill here for a little bit. And, just yeah. get out of town. Yeah. And especially slow down a little bit. Town has a certain pace, which is quite intense you have to like very upbeat yeah and i think we needed to be a bit more in the greenery and just slow down like mentally but also physically like there are no things on your to-do list you can just literally be and feel like what's your what you want to do you want to go for a walk you want to read or just chill. chill yeah yeah, yeah and this is something that i, I didn't like before but now i'm getting you know i'm getting to appreciate this a lot more yeah. yeah i think the first time we went our first weekend away he was very uncomfortable and he yeah. didn't really know how to relax but i think you got some better at it yeah i'm getting better and like i was saying i'm appreciating it more because when i when i come here this is one of the few places that i actually do feel at home and also because of the relationship that you know grew from our first time we came here with uh, the host family who we'll make it actually feel like a family place to be so it's it's an airbnb i'll leave the link in the description and we've not been here in a while but uh, yeah six months in ago. about six months yeah. yeah and there was an expansion project that we were working on yeah. and we came to meet it completely finished which is really great uh, it's really cool. I'll show you some of the, I mean, how the room looks like as I'm talking now. And uh, yeah, for this one, it, they just, they just, um, they told us that they're using this one for more of a long stay, short stay. Yeah, the, the concept, shorts, yeah, yeah, the concept of you know working remotely and actually you know coming to stay here for a month or a longer term than just a long weekend like we're doing. So I think that's a really, really cool thing. And. I mean, the, the idea that also for me now as a creative, that I can just unplug for a few weeks, a month or whatever it is, and just go somewhere that's completely different and just reset the change of environment, the change of scenery and, you know. Yeah. And I can only imagine, I mean, we've now been here for like 24 hours and I feel so much more at ease. So I can imagine if you work from here, and yeah. you really get into the rhythm of the days here that after a month, yeah, I think it's really rejuvenating. Yeah, it will be, yeah. Very, it will be, it will be really, really cool yeah. to have that. And also, like what, what we we're saying, I mean, the connection that you, you actually form with the host here, if you want to stay here for a month, for example, um, as an Airbnb, uh, no, as a long stay, not Airbnb, as a long stay, and you want to, you know, you don't want to cook, you want to have home cooked meals, you can actually request for it or speak to the host family. And depending on the current relationship that you have with them, you can have, you know, warm meals and warm conversations with them, which, which makes it different than the average, yeah. average place you would, yeah. you know, normally go off to go and stay. So, yeah, and I like that they are doing, like, they tailor-made it towards what you want. Yeah. So we like to uh, have it uh, gezellig, so we will want to uh, chat that's, that's a the lot. Word. <laughs> that's the word that you cannot pronounce aggressively. I learned that the hard way. Yes, it's a Dutch word for, well, there's no literal translation, but it means cozy, like cozy, nice, nice um, warm. warm, yeah. yeah. So we, we, yeah, we like to... <laughs> sit around with them a lot and 
you know, spend time with them as well. But it depends a little bit, a little bit on your needs. You can also, you know, get work done or go for walks. Like they really leave you free to do whatever you want to do. Yeah. But really, it's really a welcoming and a home, like as if you're in somebody's living room. They literally invite you into their living room. Yeah. Which I think makes it so comfortable here. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we wanted to share with you. I, we did a video the first time we came here, uh, but not uh, into so much detail, just our experience. But now we've had more than one experience. We've been here a couple of times without actually filming like we're doing today. So it's, it's, it feels like, you know, the cliche, definite cliche home away from home for us now. Yeah. That every now and then we, we, you know, we hit them up and tell them we want to come home for a little bit and we spend the time here which yeah. and I think like location wise it's also great because it's about an hour maybe a little bit more depending on traffic from Accra yeah. so it's very doable you can uh, drive away in the morning you'll be here before lunch time you settle in and you have still the whole day yeah um, and your the journey is also nice because you will move from hustling bustling Accra and then you go into greener roads, greener, you uh, drive up the hill, of yeah. course. So you see Accra literally leaving you leaving behind. Leaving you behind. Yeah, or and you then, leaving Accra behind. Yeah. yeah. Then you come to the fruit cellars and then you, you turn to uh, you turn uh, left. Antark Road. Yeah, Kitase, the Antark Kitase yeah. Road. And, and then, then you are there. Like, And so it's like even the journey is kind of you're letting go of everything that you had in Accra and you're just going to be here for a few days or a long stay if you want, yeah. which would be great. Yeah, with, the, with their new um, expansion. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's what we wanted to share with you if you're looking for a place to um, hide away to work or even live for a few months or a month or a few weeks just to clear your mind. I think this is one of the places you should. And often when we say this is one of our favorite places, it's not because we were here once. We, we often connect on a deeper level with the people who own these places. So when we share our favorite places, it's small places we can actually you know, vouch for. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you ever think of doing that, I mean, it's even December. I mean, if you want to spend Christmas away, this is a nice place. This is a nice idea to do that. So yeah, yeah. we'll catch you in the next video. I know, you know, it's been a long time since we brought a video. We'll try and record more, but I hope you enjoyed today's own and uh, see you in the next one. See you. Bye. Bye.